Welcome to the Connecting Your D2L Brightspace Learning Environment to Content Publishers video. In this video, you will learn how to do the administrative setup and how instructors will use these tools. In the admin setup, you will learn how to set the roles and permissions, the IMS configuration, setting up remote plugins, and setting up home pages. To get to roles and permissions, you click on the admin tool widget and then click on the roles and permissions link. From roles and permissions, choose the role that you want to edit. We will start with the administrator role. From the filter by role, you can change which role you're looking at. From filter by tool, you can change which tool you are looking at. We are going to start with the external learning tool and then click apply filter. From roles and permissions on the admin side, you're going to probably want to choose all of the choices. This is external learning tools. Then we change to IMS configuration. Then we change to remote plugins. And then we change to home pages. Again, for most tools for the admin role, you want to check all the boxes to make sure you have full rights. For the instructor role, under external learning tools, they will need to be able to launch external learning tool links at the org level and the course level. They will need to be able to manage external learning tool links at the course level. And they will need to be able to create quick links from the course level. On the IMS configuration, they will not need any rights. On remote plugins, they will need to be able to see plugins at the course level. We normally don't choose the org level since we aren't setting up remote plugins on the My Home side of the D2L. Under Home Pages, they will need to be able to manage and set home pages at the course level. They will need to be able to see My Courses widget and Updates widget if you use those widgets on your home pages. For the student rule, under external learning tools, they will only need to be able to launch the links. Again, under IMS configuration, they will not need any rights. Under remote plugins, they will need to be able to see the plugins at the course level. For home pages, they will only need the rights to see the My Courses widget and Updates widget if you use these on your home page. Next, we will move on to the IMS configuration. To set this up, you need to go into the Admin Tools widget. Then, click on IMS configuration link. In the IMS configuration page, you want to set up your admin roles as faculty, instructor, staff, and administrator. You will want to set up all of your faculty roles as just faculty, instructor, and staff. You will want to set up any student roles as student, member, learner, prospective student, guest, and observer. Next, we will move on to setting up remote plugins. To do this, click on the Admin Tools widget, and then click on the Remote Plugins link. To create a new plugin, click on the New Remote Plugin button, and then 
you will need to choose your type. From the drop down, you will normally be creating a widget or a course builder link. Then, after you fill in all of the fields, you want to click on Add Org Units. Then search for your main My Home Org. Check the box for it, and then choose All Descendants. This makes sure that every core shell in D2L can access this remote plugin link then click insert. This slide gives you the URL under credential request to get the secret and key and the other information that you'll need to fill out the remote plugin for Pearson. This is an example of what your information will look like. You should receive an email after you request your information that gives you the information to fill into these fields. This is the information that you will need to access Cengage's secret and key website. For Cengage, this is what your settings will look like. To set up your home pages, you click on the Admin Tool widget and then click on Home Page Management. You will need to create a home page when using the Pearson widget. To do this, Make a copy of your main course homepage that all of your shells use. Rename it to Course Home Pearson. Then click on the Add Widget button. Add the MyLab and Mastering links and click the Add button and then rearrange it to where you want to show up on the home page. Make sure you save your changes. Next we will be going over the instructor uses, how to set home pages, and how to use the course builder to pull in files. To set your home pages, you want to click on Edit Course and then Home Pages. In the Home Page Setup, use the drop down menu and pick the Course Home Pearson and then click Apply. Now you have the Pearson widget on your home page. To use the Course Builder, you go into Edit Course, then Course Builder. When you're in the Course Builder, you have to create a module for the items to go into. So you tell it where you want it, and then you give it a name, and you create it. Now we have the placeholder. So next we will talk about setting up a course to use the Pearson kiosk, since that's the setup that we did first. You click on the Pearson MyLab and Mastering link from the widget. You will get this pop-up. You will click on Select a MyLab and Mastering product. You will get another pop-up. You will agree to it. Then you'll get the login page, so you want to put in your username and password, and then sign in. 
Once you're logged in, you want to click on Get Started. Then you have to choose from an existing course or search for a new book to start a new course. You will either have Select Course Materials or Select Coordinator Course come up when you search for your books. After you make your choice, fill in what you want your lab to be called, when it starts, when it ends, and then click Continue. You will get a congratulations email. So close this window and all other pop-ups that you have still open. So now we're back in D2L again. Click on Edit Course and go into the Course Builder. Again, if you haven't set it up, you want to make a placeholder, tell it where to go, give it a name, and create it. And then we're going to click on the Pearson icon. We're going to tell it where we want all these resources to be in our Pearson module. Then we're going to tell it which links that we want inside of D2L. I normally choose them all. Then hit Add to Course. If you get this error, that means that some of the links did not copy in. So what we're going to do is close this, go into Content, and see which links did come in. Then we're going to go back into Edit Course and do the steps again. And this time you see I have even more links in here. So you keep doing that until you get all of the links that you want in your D2L course. So now we have the Pearson kiosk set up for this book. So next we're going to talk about setting up your course for Cengage Mind Links. For this one, you do not need the home pages because we don't need the Pearson widget because we're dealing with Cengage this time. And Cengage doesn't use a widget. We just go to Edit Course, into the Course Builder, and then again, if you don't have it, you have to create a placeholder. We tell it where to go, give it a name, and create it. So this time we're going to click on the Cengage icon and tell it we want it in our Cengage module. Here you'll have to log in, username and password, click the login button. Once you get in, it'll say you are successfully logged in and it will show you the materials that your account in Cengage has access to. So click on the book that you want to use and then you have the options of creating a new course, copying from an existing course, or copying from another instructor's course. So choose the bubble for the one you want to use this is what they look like. And then when you've done the option that you want to do, click on continue. You will get this page. Click continue to confirm. It will say your import's complete. You hit continue. And then you're back in the course builder. So let's click on content and then click on our module and we will see that that course was linked. I just named it test course but you'll want to name it something real. So next we'll go back into edit course go back into course builder and this time we're going to bring in the links from that activity. So we hit Cengage again we tell it to go into Cengage module and we see that we have one item linked, so we want to click on that one. Now, since it's linked, it shows us all the stuff that we can import into D2L. 
So we expand everything that we want and check all the boxes next to everything that we want in D2L. Once you have checked everything, you click on Confirm Selections. And then you click on the Save button. And this will bring everything that you checked into D2L. So we click on Content again. And now we see that all of Chapter 1, Section 1, is in our content. You have now successfully linked content publishers into D2L's learning environment.